Yeah, I downloaded the wrong Lilo and Stitch movie. Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about both Lilo and Stitch games on DGB. Lilo and Stitch is a tough game, but a great game. It combines multiple gameplay elements and all of them are great. One type of level has you play as Stitch in a metal slug kind of fashion. You go from left to right and blast your way through enemies. You can shoot while crouching, which makes the game even tougher, but even if it's tough, it never felt broken or tough because of the game's fault. It was just tough because the game is tough. In other levels you play as Lilo and have to stealth your way through waves of enemies and pull switches. In other levels you play in a space shooter, there are boss battles, tank levels which work like the metal slug parts. The game is kinda short, having only 7 levels, but because of the difficulty the game will take you some time to finish. I recommend it again. It's tough, but amazing. And Lilo and Stitch 2 Hamsterville Havoc has the same game formula, but brought some improvements. Like for example now you can double jump, and you get more weapon power-ups. These space shooter parts were replaced by jeep levels that work in a similar fashion. Also there are 6 new aliens, or well, experiments as they are called in the show. And you play levels in 2. Both the Lilo and the Stitch levels are played in two, each with an alien companion, and each has different abilities you have to use in the environments in order to pass, which makes the already great formula more complex, but a good type of complex, as the game mechanics for each companion feels good. The game is way more kid friendly, now there are fewer enemies on screen and enemies also fall down easier than before and there are even power-ups that slow down time so that you can take down enemies easier. Also you can compare this game to Metal Slug like the first game. It's more of a puzzle, platformer, action, adventure, some sort of game. It's much more complex than the first one. So there you have it. If you want a tough but great game, play the first one. If you want an easier game that is more complex, that is still great, play the second one. My recommendation is to play them both, as both are amazing.